Congratulations on winning the tournament. You're an impressive fighter. I know that you'll be a great influence on my Johnny. Why, you might even end up having a friendly rivalry. You can spur each other to greater heights. I can see it. You two will become great friends. The best of friends. <laughs> now that was a fight. Can't have just one. The more you eat, the better they get. <laughs> what lovely time. With these babies, you can send intruders flying. I guarantee this is the only home protection you'll ever need. Only a few left. Get yours while you can. Mm. Huh? You want to take me up on my offer now? Cool. Then I'll see you down below. You're here. Good. I have everything I need to get started. Just one thing before we do. You're the Cloud, right? Cloud the Merc. I'm told you did a wonderful job helping the people of Sector 5. <laughs> you have a very impressive work ethic. It's like they say, good things come to those who work. What goes around comes around, and in ways that might surprise you. <laughs> I'm gonna put Aerith in the most gorgeous dress you've ever seen. <laughs> It'll be a real jaw-dropper. All right, now that that's out of the way, once you change, you won't be able to leave town. Are you sure you're ready? All right then, let's get started. Beauty takes a lot of work and preparation. Far more than you'd know. In the meantime, let me see, let me think. There ought to be things you can only do without your friend. Now's your chance to get out and have some fun. <laughs> I can tell you're already beginning to feel at home here. Though being so new to it, I assumed you still wouldn't know how to enjoy yourself properly. <laughs> so I went and had a chat with Sam. He said he'd be happy to help you out. Hey, no one asked you to do that. But there's so much you don't know. This is the perfect opportunity for you to learn the ways of the world and man the hell up. And that's enough of that. Aerith, come with me. Oh boy, I can't wait to see the dress. The dress is part of it, sure. But we'll also need to do something about that plain Jane makeup and hairdo. This is gonna take some work. Ouch! Well, I'll see you later, Cloud. Peek, and I'll poke out your eyes. So, what kind of mischief you looking to get up to tonight? Howdy. Madam M said you'd be swinging by. Let me see if I've got this straight. You ditched your lady friend and fellow champion to have a boys' night out in Wall Market? Uh. Kidding. If I know the madam, and I do, this was all her idea. I can see why. There's no denying you're skilled with a sword, but when it comes to damn near anything else, well, can't help but have my doubts. Ain't nothing wrong with that. 
But then there's nothing wrong with expanding your horizons, neither. Seeking new experiences. Knowing the ways of this here world will help you to better protect her while you're in it. Reckon I got a few solid gigs for you. What do you say? You game? Huh. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> That's the spirit. You have yourself a grand time tonight, Mr. Merck. show up thanks for coming and welcome to our humble training hall jules head trainer if you've got some time to spare how about a little bit of fun want to try taking on one of our guys <laughs> you're not serious are you look at him he's a scrawny little thing i could snap him like a twig now now i wouldn't judge this one by his muscle mass what do you say cloud if you want to give it a go just let me know so, you up for a round? Ha! You're taking me on? You look like a dried up old terpsichold left out in the sun. You got no idea what you're getting into, little man. All right, enough talk. We'll settle this the tried and true traditional way. A squat off. Now, let's all see what you've got. No way I'm letting you win! Looking yeah. good. You've got this. <laughs> Come on. That's how it's yeah. done. I knew you <laughs> could do it. Not bad yeah. at all. Your form's <laughs> looking good. You've got this. Come on. Not bad yeah. at all. That's how it's done. I knew yeah. you could do it. Your form's <laughs> looking good. That's how it's done. I knew you could do it. You've yeah. got this. Come on. Not bad at all. That's yeah. how it's done. Your form's looking good. I knew you could do it. You've got this. Come on. I knew you could do it. That's yeah. how it's done. Your form's looking good. Not bad at all. I knew you could do it. You've yeah. got this. Come on. That's how it's done. Your form's yeah. looking good. Not bad at all. You've got this. Come on. I knew you could do it. That's how it's done. Not yeah. bad at all. Your form's looking good. I knew you could do it. You've got this. Come on. Your yeah. form's looking good. That's how it's done. I knew you could do it. Not bad yeah. at all. <sighs> <laughs> Nothing to it. How? How the hell did I lose to this scrawny little kid who looks like he doesn't even consume his daily recommended amount of protein? Ronnie, you know it's all about quality, not mass. You're too quick to judge people by their build. That and your overtrained ego are the main reasons you lost to our bold challenger here. <laughs> Thanks for helping me teach my boys a valuable lesson. And sorry for dragging you into it. Cloud? We're all one big family here at this gym. And now you're part of it. If you're ever up for training, our doors are always open to you. Let's work together to maintain healthy minds and bodies. Welcome. Anything in particular you're looking for? Oh, you must be the Merc I've been hearing about. I need you to help me out with my dad. His drunk ass has been at the bar for hours now. Could you bring him back here? He's probably three sheets in over at Drunkard's. <laughs> Just over there. Oh! 
Wait up, Cloud! Sam caught me up on everything. He said you're gonna go rescue Tifa. And to do that, you're trying to learn all about Walmart. Bro, I know this town like the back of my hand, so I can answer all of your questions. Now, let's go knock this one out. The bar is this way, Cloud. Drunkards, here we come. Uh, are we even allowed to walk through the door? Like it's mostly the same folks every Chuckabobie. night, so... Well, it just wants in there uninvited. Listen, there are rules for this kind of... Hey, old dude! Huh? Son, is that you? Did you always look so... moronic? Well, right back at you. Yeah, whatever. We're here to take you back to the store. I'm not going back! Not ever! My life is ruined! It's over! Kill me now! Come on, there's no need to talk like that, old dude. I'll help you out with whatever you need. Really? Oh, thank you, son! See, I made this bet with the Materia Merchant. A sure thing! But then I lost! And so I had no choice but to steal my heart and surrender my precious inspiration! Your precious insp- who with the what now? Inspiration! <laughs> Without it, there's simply no point in me ever going back to the store. Got it. I mean, I don't got it, but I just need to get your inspiration back, right? Whatever the hell that is. Leave it to me, old dude. Uh, hey, aren't you gonna go with your friend? Leave me alone. I'm nothing but a hollow shell of a man without my inspiration. This is my jam. It speaks to me. Worry about your own head instead of the planets. Yeah. Can't have just one. The more you eat, the better they get. What lovely Man ends her I don't even really know how people use Materia. This place looks kind of creepy, don't you think? Like maybe they practice ritual sacrifice or... Hey, wait for me! Oh. So this is it, huh? And what do you two want? Uh, uh, I'm here for the precious inspiration you took from the old dude. Inspiration? Oh. That thing. But I didn't take it. I want it fair and square. It's mine by rights now. Well, that's true. But I tell you what. I'll consider giving it back in exchange for... a favor. Uh, what you need? Something only... real men can deliver. Uh. I need you to go and get me something from the vending machine at the inn. You know what. You know. No, I don't think I... Wait, the sauce. The sauce? Stop saying the sauce. Anyway, good luck. The time has come for me to wield my powers of assessment. I can feel it. Oh, oh I can feel it. I'm in for You're one wild ride. I'm gonna Welcome see some weird tomorrow. Any I wish I was here with Tifa. No offense, bro. That's it. That's the one. It looks like a regular old vending machine, right? But wait! <laughs> you ready for this? Alright. This particular model has secret buttons where well i can't tell you it's a secret you just need to tap into your knowledge and expertise like grab it and whip it out and then you'll be able to see everything i don't need to whip it out i've done this before watch this whoa look at you bro Huh? Is this the sauce? I don't know. 
Come on, bro. You know there are more hidden buttons waiting to be pushed. Oh, so this is the sauce. Neato. You're a winner! Have a prize! Shit, that really scared me. Well, I think we've got what we needed to get. Let's go back and talk to the guy. Come on, bro, hurry up! <laughs> Let's show him what we brought back from our little oh. trip in... Oh, it's you two. It's time, bro. The sauce. Hmm? Okay, okay. I see. That's not it? I had higher expectations for you, but I guess you and I aren't so different after all. We both still have a lot to learn. Yeah, I feel you. All right. Hate to break it to you, but that thing you were looking for? Not here. It's long, long gone. Shitting me? Nope. Sorry. As I recall, the guy who runs the restaurant should have it. Ugh. Well, I guess we know where we're headed next. Come on, bro. Well, that's that. Time to polish the old orbs. Give them a spit shine so they positively sparkle. Hey, if you're done here, then get going already. Restaurant up next, huh? Uh, getting kind of hungry, actually. Talk about a busy day, huh? I think it's coming from over there. Nope. Stay focused. They come. Have so work to work. Come on, man. Huh? No one knows how they're made or what's in them. These treats are even more Welcome! Feel free to kick any open seats. Sorry, we're not here to eat. The Materia guy gave you something, yeah? We want it. Materia guy? Oh, you hear about that? I'm surprised. Didn't take you for the type. Let me ask you something. Either of you know anything about cooking? Nope, never cooked once. That's too bad. For some reason, my food doesn't taste nearly as good as it used to. I was hoping one of you two might be able to help me figure it out. I've narrowed it down to the fridge, the stove, or the power supply, but I'm not sure what's to blame. Man, I seriously have no idea what it could be. This sucks. I've got it! The problem is, the heat's not high enough. Oh? Know a little something about fire, do you? Okay then, let me try turning it on to see if you're right. Well, will you look at that? Works fine! Here, eat up! Man, this looks great! He seemed to be enjoying the meal, so I wanted to ask him what he thought. Maybe next time. Anyway, thanks for your help. Oh, and here's a voucher with my apologies. Get the poor guy some medicine, will you? Drugs. I need all the drugs right now. Out of the way. Get your delicious materia pops right here. Yes, you are here. Thank you. Sorry, I'm sorry. Yes, you are here. Huh? You know this guy? You a friend of his? Well... Oh, that about you you got there? Should have said something sooner. Come on in. What is it with today? People are dropping like flies. Besides this dumbass? Ah, loads of them. 
I got enough outstanding orders to fill a book. I was about to leave and make some deliveries, but... Oh, I'm gonna hurl. Eh, I can't very well leave him alone now, can I? Hey, you're not doing much. Maybe you can deliver that medicine for me. You're, what, military or something, right? Then you must know a thing or two about dealing with the sick and injured. You're a lifesaver, literally. So, let me see, what needs delivery? Here, need you to deliver this to someone. You'll probably find this guy sprawled out on the ground somewhere, but make sure you check his symptoms before giving him meds. If I had to guess where a sick person'd end up, I'd say in the toilet. Maybe one's in the shops nearby? And I tell you, this... I've got meds. Let me take a look at you. Thanks, buddy. Oh, you saved my life. Here. It's not much, but it's yours. No. Oh, I'm grateful for your help, but... Do you think a guy could get a little privacy? Probably head back. Doctor, tell you lay off the booze. Chocobo bean popcorn. And then there was this crazy-looking house, right? And it was all like trying to kill him. But then Cloud was all like, bam, bam, boom. Your friend fought a house. A house? Oh, hey! Welcome back, bro! Better already? Yeah, now he won't shut up. Anyway, how'd the deliveries go? I did about as much as I could. Thanks for the help. And great work. Anyway, I promise to be worth your while. Here, I got something you're definitely gonna like. What is it? Well, it belonged to the owner of the clothing store first. Heard from the cook that you boys been running all over town looking for this. Am I right? Wait, we have? Hold up. What were we doing before all this? Oh shit! The inspiration! Bingo! You see, all us Walmart and entrepreneurs go way back. We get together for a game every night, bet all kinds of stuff. This found its way into the pool and eventually into my possession, and now it's yours, because, hey, why the hell not? It's a VIP card. Highly coveted and extremely rare. They're only given to a select few. Not having it is gonna do you much good, but... Holy mother of... No way! Bro, we gotta get to the honey... Er, I, I, I mean, drunkards on the double! Tell the old man I said hi! You think you're too good for my butts? My apologies, sir. We are still preparing for our next show. That card. Are you a VIP member, sir? May I? Oh. I'm not sure you're aware, sir, but... I'm afraid that these cards can only be used by the members to whom they were issued. Alas, most of the audience can't appreciate your true meaning. My apologies, sir. 
We are still preparing for our next show. I know why you're here. Golf is up. You gotta stay sharp, though. Lifetime bans are lifetime bans. Hold on. Is that a VIP card you've got there? I see now. That's not yours. It belongs to What's-His-Face's dad. You know him? Well, we're not exactly friends, but he is a regular here. And he has been pretty nice to me in the past, which isn't something I can say about everyone. Everyone will know that card isn't yours. So, since it's no good to you, could you take it back to its owner for me? I practice every second I can. It's the only way I'll become the best. Really cleaning up tonight, eh? This is gonna be amazing. This is it. You're done. Ah, God. I will. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on! I gotta know! Can't have just one. The more you, you eat, still got the, the inspiration, right? Choke you didn't lose it? Popcorn. My heart is beating so fast, bro. Like it's gonna burst right out of my chest. Hey, old dude, we're back! Huh? Who are you? You're no son of mine. I think. Special delivery, just for you. Oh, my inspiration! You've returned to me at long last! Yo, is that what I think it is? Oh, you bet it is! And it was hard won! I sewed dresses day and night for those ladies until I got what I was after! A Honeybee Inn VIP card! I knew it! Now make way for the VIP, boys! I don't want to keep my ladies waiting any longer. But first, I should pick up a gift dress. Lead the way, old dude. We are coming. Chocobo bean popcorn here. But what's Hey, how's about this? There's nothing going on. <sighs> well, thanks for bringing him back. Can't imagine what you went through. Here, you earned it. Hey, you're coming, right, bro? Get ready for a real wall market education. I'm done with this. You, you can do whatever the hell you want. I get it, bro. You're scared. It's only natural for people to fear the unknown. Uh. It's a pity you're not gonna join us, but I swear to you, bro, as an aspiring wall market connoisseur, I'm gonna go in there and get as much inspiration as I can handle for you, bro. For you. Because, Cloud, you are my one true bro. Honeybee in, here I come! Inspiration, here I come! <sighs> Perfect example of how age has absolutely nothing to do with maturity. Couldn't agree more. Should probably go see Sam again. My dad is one amazing designer. At least. What about your husband? Isn't he waiting for you? Huh? You want to help us pick a dress? All righty. What do you think of this real skimpy one here? This silky one over here is kind of nice too. That must be nice. Hey, how's about this? What are you crazy? <sighs> Dad's the kind of guy who can't work without inspiration. So, tell me, what'd you see in our little enclave of sin and debauchery? Bet it was an eye-opening experience. Nothing I haven't seen before. That it for jobs? Not exactly. I got one more favor to ask. You want to get teeth out, right? What's your angle? <laughs> hey, 
Just get your ass to the Coliseum. You'll see. You know what to do. Take the elevator and head on down. I can't wait to see you fight. been waiting for you, champ! We've been waiting for you, champ! Stands are packed thanks to you. Now get out there and give them a show! of bloodshed and mayhem your favorite champion cloud is back in the ring right now this boy may be hot 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 but look out folks because these dynamite challengers may just blow the champ clean off his throne i hope you brought shades because you're about to see some fireworks Fighters, begin! Let's do this. Let's finish this. 
idea. than the guns he's packing! Nice going, champ. You were in fine form today. Here's your cut. You earned it. Not here for the cash. Tell me about Tifa. Ah, Tifa. She's something of a bombshell herself, huh? Girl keeps in shape, and boy, does it show. Hey. Just making an observation, that's all. Anyway, seems like you're serious about getting the poor girl out of her predicament. I could tell easy enough by the way you fought back there. Cut to the chase. Well? You helping or not? Never said I would. Opposite, even. Getting mixed up in other people's business isn't my way. Plus, as you are now, I reckon you could ride to her rescue without anybody's help. And that's the truth. You've changed since you first rolled into this here town. For the better. <laughs> At any rate, I've said all I'm gonna say. Your lady friend ought to be done changing by now, am I right? She ain't no Tifa, but she is a firecracker. Keep her waiting too long and she might just blow up in your face. Continue to help me. I look forward to receiving all of your future battle intel submissions. For an even lovelier. I've done it again. Take a deep breath. What about Tifa? I heard Corneo was gonna audition new girls soon. And Tifa's... Tifa's gonna be... I just... I, I don't know what to do. Well, I do. I'll come too! Hey, Cloud! Bro! I can call you bro, right? Nope. Just wanna say, bro, that I'm totally Ooh. relieved that you're looking out for Tifa. So, like, how'd you get so strong anyway, bro? I said... The way you fight, bro, is like poetry and violence. Bam, bam, whoosh, whoosh, you know? Huh? I really wish I could be just like you. My problem is that I tend to overthink and overanalyze it. Well, this is it for me. Call me crazy, but uh, I have a feeling that I'll just be getting in the way. Go find Aerith at Madame M's. Tell her to wait for me there when she's done. Think you can handle that? Yes, sir.
You again? Got a letter of approval right here. Hmm? Huh? You know that's only good for women, right? Yeah, it's for Aerith. Who? Oh, that girl you were with. Sorry to hear that. Well, either way, you're stuck out here, pal. I can't let you in. I wasn't asking for permission. Huh? Wouldn't try it if I were you. Trust me, you don't want to screw with the Don. If you even think about causing any trouble, he'll make sure someone pays for it. And that someone might wind up being the girl you're trying so hard to break out. Or it could wind up being someone you've never even met before. Get it? You're in the Don's world now. Anyway, you've got some time yet. The audition won't start for a while. If you're sure you want to go through with this, then bring the girl and the letter. But if I were you, I wouldn't. really... Yeah. Corneo's got certain tastes. This dress is so gaudy and impossible to move in. Uh, 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 yeah. Cloud? Uh, uh, excuse me. Huh. Hey, wait a minute. Did Johnny forget to give you my message? The one asking me to stay put? No, I got it. I was worried about you. I'm starting to think this place is more dangerous than we thought. Who knows what they'll ask you to do in this audition? No way in hell I'll let you go in there by yourself. By myself? Oh, don't worry. I wasn't gonna. Come on, you'll see. See what, exactly? According to Madam M, you've caught the eye of a certain fabulous someone and they'd like to meet in person. Huh? Look at you, all dolled up and fabulous. Well, what do we have here? You're quite the pretty little lady. What? Say that again. Don't be like that. You're still the most beautiful girl in the world. What lovely isn't that? Hey there, cutie. Where are you headed? Why'd you let me buy you a cup of coffee? See the honeybee inns Andrea Rodea and convince him to give you his stamp of approval. You said you didn't want me going alone, right? Well, with Andrea's help, you can join me. It'll be fun. And honestly, I think you'll look pretty cute in a dress. What? It's pretty rare for Andrea to take a personal interest in someone. At least, that's what Madame M said. Trust me, this is gonna work out great. Uh. Come on! Don't you wanna save Tifa? Wait. No can do, Cloud. This is our plan, and you'll learn to love it. So, here's how I think we should approach him. Madam M said Andrea was a man who'd give anyone a fair chance to win him over. So I say we march right up to him, explain the situation, and see where that gets us. Sound good? Come on! Don't you want to save Tifa? So, 
Good evening. Welcome to the entertainment extravaganza that is the Honeybee Inn. We're here to see Andrea Rodea. You must be Mr. Cloud. He's waiting for you. Mr. Cloud? I've been instructed to send you through without delay, sir. Please, make your way to the stage in the back. What stage? The one in the back, sir. Straight through those doors and down the hall. I've dreamt of this moment. The honeybee is. And here's the man of the hour. Chosen by Andrea himself. Our honored guest. This is your first time, right? It's okay. Do you want to practice your dance moves first? Why would I want to do that? Andrea thought it might be a good idea. Over here! Come on now! Hey, hold on! <laughs> 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 Work it, honey! Andrea takes the stage. Look at his muscles. Aw, oh, he's flushing. Welcome to the Honeybee Inn, Cloud. You seek my approval, do you? I understand. But those who crave my favor must first prove that they know how to move. You can follow my lead.
Keep it up, Cloud. Work it. Yes, I will transform you into a vision of beauty. Now, without further ado, let us begin! Expression of the heart, a thing without shame, to which notions of gender don't apply. Don't ever be afraid, Cloud. That show today blew my mind. Did you drink Just tonight? Come over I here. can't help it. It was amazing. Drink. We can talk. Was it start? Probably not. Did you see their look of surprise? That was the best performance. Oh, wow, loud. Now that was a show. Come on, Dad. Time to go home and get some sleep. That is a friend. Please don't. Here you are? 
Letters from Andrea Rodea and Madam M. That ought to do the trick, right? You serious? Is there a problem? I hope you know what you're in for. Oh, we'll be fine. If you say so. Come on. The two of you here for the audition? Second floor, at the very end of the walk. And don't go poking your nose in where it doesn't belong. That one's Madame M's girl, ain't it? And she's hot. That Andrea's girl? I'd let her do things to me. Room's at the end. Keep walking. so dizzy gas uh, uh. come on damn it cloud hey pretty ladies do feeling a little lightheaded but i can't have that Let's say we escort you to the parlor so you can make yourself more comfortable. Let's get this show on the road. Where are you taking us? Come on now. Lopsy daisy. Hey, where do you care, asshole? The hell? You want to throw down the Corneo girl? So if you leave a mark on him, you ain't getting off with a one. I know. Managed to wrangle some real lookers this time, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hey, can you hear me? Oh. Tifa? Yes? You okay? Mm-hmm. Good. Wait a minute. Cloud? Is that you? Oh my god, that makeup! And that dress! Nailed it, I know, thank you. Moving on. <sighs> <sighs> You good? Yeah, bit woozy, but I'll manage. <sighs> hey, Tifa, how you doing? Uh, okay. Oh, right. I'm Aerith, a friend of Cloud's. We were worried and thought we'd come help you out. Uh, thanks? Cut the chatter. We gotta leave. Huh? Right now. Uh, no, not until I've got what I came for. What? So... After we made it back to the slums, some guys came around asking all kinds of questions. So I did some digging. And found out they were Corneo's men. Right. They were interested in Avalanche. But I couldn't figure out why. So I thought I'd come and ask the man himself. Seriously? Thought if I could find a way in and get some one-on-one -on -one time. But then I realized I'd only be one of three candidates. And that if he didn't pick me, it would all be for nothing. Then your worries are over, aren't they? Because the other two candidates are right here, right? Uh, right. So yeah, if we're all in on it, then nothing can go wrong. Uh, I guess not. You? Me? Cloud? Makes no difference who gets chosen, does it? I don't know, Aerith. It feels wrong getting you involved in all this. Don't even bother trying to talk her out of it. Oh, Cloud gets me. Took you long enough. <sighs> so what happens now? I think they'll call for us when it's time. This room gives me the creeps. So? You're still feeling a bit woozy, but tonight's audition's about to begin. 
Head out the door to the left and up the stairs. Come on, ladies. Let's hustle. All right, guys. Let's do this. <laughs> do you want to do this? No? Beautiful ladies, time to line up for the dawn. <sighs> hmm. Hmm? Wait, you look kind of familiar. We haven't met before, have we? Mm -mm. <sighs> uh, whatever. All right, y'all good to go? Then let's do this thing. Introducing Walmart's most eligible bachelor, the one and only Da Corneo. Ladies? Uh. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> Whichever one shall I pick? Mm. Oh. Shall I pick you? <laughs> or maybe you? Yeah. Days? And tomorrow's, or the day after's, if the dawn takes a shine to you. Pathetic. Huh? Hey, which one of you said that? Was it you? Ooh, you got a mouth on you. I'm going to enjoy breaking it in. Today's lucky lady is the big bone girl. Huh? <laughs> Still playing hard to get? I can dig it. <laughs> oh, yeah. The leftovers are all yours. Yeah, yeah. we! Okay. <laughs> okay, ladies. Y'all coming with me. <sighs> Don't be shy, little kitten. Shimmy on over and give Daddy some sugar. No need to play coy. Nobody here but you and me. Oh, you're even cuter than I thought. Back off. Ooh! <laughs> this kitten's got claws! I love it! <laughs> what was that? Don't you worry, your pretty little head. Just a picture to preserve the moment. And to ensure you don't do anything inappropriate like say no. Asshole. Oh, praise me more! <laughs> Hey, yo, fellas! We got guests, and y'all got first crack at entertaining them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Courtesy of the ever-generous Don Corneo himself, never forget, the Don provides. Yeah. Corneo! <laughs> so, ladies, ready to... Get to it? Yeah. I guess I'm good to go whenever. How about you, Tifa? Hmm. Four guys between us. Okay. Let's not keep Cloud waiting. Right. Wait. I know you. The Coliseum! <laughs> what the hell? Get down! Don't <laughs> 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 you stupid! Wait! Good job, Eric. It was nothing compared to.
to you. <laughs> Andrea filled me in on the situation. I come bearing gifts, your gear. I'll do what I can to clean this up. Just finish the job. Okay, let's go rescue Cloud. Corneo's room, right? Better hurry. Better hurry. Man, I'd love to spend some quality time with girls like that. Bet they're going at it right now. Lucky bastard. What are you doing here? <laughs> hey, hate you two to read this? I'll take that. Get him! Gotcha! Huh? Best high ever! That's that. Hey, over Sorry. here! Go on! I'll take that. <laughs> Would kill for a shower. <laughs> Don't stop! Tell me what you a bad boy I bastard. am! <laughs> yes! Yes, I am! Here I come, baby! <laughs> <laughs> hey! Who the hell gave you permission to do that? One of you get in here and teach this bitch some manners! <sighs> Sorry, but your boy I am learned some manners, too. What the? Cloud, your clothes! <laughs> oh. 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 So you're a man, huh? What are you three up to? We'll ask the questions. Like, why'd you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Nah. Huh? Don't know what you're talking about. Don't play dumb with me. Let's try again. Why did you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Spill the beans, or... I'll cut them off. All right, all right! I'll talk, I'll talk! Hmm. <sighs> Uh, some guy with a gun for an arm. I was paid to find him. Paid by who? I can't tell you that. They'd hunt me down like a dog. Well, you better. Because if you don't, I'll rip them off. <laughs> it was the director of public security, Heidegger. It was Heidegger. Shinra. And what were they planning? Some things are better left unsaid. You know? See, I'm not so sure they are. Better keep talking. Or I'll smash them. <laughs> All right, you got me. I could never say no to a sexy girl. Since Avalanche blew up two reactors, Shinra's decided they ought to stamp them out, home base and all. And I mean, stamp out. By targeting the support pillar and blowing it up. The pillar? Did I stutter? The plate will come crushing down. It'll be Sector 6 all over again. I'm sure you've been there and seen the wreckage for yourself. So you know exactly what Sector 7's gonna look like. 
They wouldn't. Come on, guys. We gotta go. Before you do... No. Please, this won't take long. As everyone knows, villains only divulge their plans in a certain situation. But what is that situation? I don't know. When they've lost their minds? <laughs> Close, but no cigar! Your parting gift is in the sewers. <laughs> Enjoy the sights and smells! Are we on schedule? <laughs> the Turks are on top of it. Yes, there will be no delays. Please, Mr. President. I am asking you to reconsider. No, begging. The Sector 7 Undercity is home to more than 50,000... <sighs> Director Twisty. At least let us issue a warning, sir. The stench of the Director's cowardice fills the room yet again. <clears throat> Reed. Progress requires sacrifice. Learn to live with it. 